just some very basic tools and supplies. Okay, this is a quick DIY on um, making a real simple bird feeder. I used to uh, have some better bird feeders. They kept getting destroyed by bear or raccoons or whoever else. So I started making them. I was still losing them. Didn't like losing my hardware, so I designed one I could make with no nothing that isn't already essentially junk. Um, so starting with some metal steel wire. This is like the bail from a Chinese takeout. Maybe a bail from a ticket. But anyway, some kind of coated steel like that. Tin steel. And then I, my latest generation, I'm using these type of containers, uh, like Country Time or whatever brand of lemonade. It's a nice big wide mouth opening. And I take this piece and I drill three holes in a row and then another three holes in a row using a like a brad drill or something like that mixed easier I'm drilling three holes bam bam and then three more and I get something like this piece then so I've made you know, these two smiley openings here uh, the washer broke out and um, then I'm just using lids, like uh, you know, simple jar lids, for the bottom platforms. And I used two doubled up, and then I used one to, like a Pringles lid down there to kind of seal against the uh, openings on the main jar. Um, and then the real trick is, I use the wire, and I don't drill these holes. I just heat up the wire and poke them through the plastic. It's like a nice no crack hole. Um, and at one end I make the hole all the way through all of these discs, right into dead centers. And I used a little plastic piece I found around to reinforce it a little and butt my wire at the end so it wouldn't pull through. And then I came up and actually made a little spring in here. I'm twisting the wire so it's actually a little bit of a spring action here. So this part can be pulled down and it snaps back up again. And that helps it kind of regulate the seed. I'm only really interested in feeding the little uh, chickadees and nut hatches. Um, and I don't want to feed the squirrels. So this has worked out fairly well for me. And I just have it apart now to refill it. This is a quick uh, little drawing of how you might do a jar lid. Um, these are the smiley openings I was talking about. Drill like three holes and then cut between them with uh, diagonal cutters or something. This is the spring, you know, pokes through and curls around a couple times and then a little thing at the end just to prop it up. I made the top bail by poking a hole through, heating, heating up the end of it, poking it through, and then uh, made a little bend at the end so I won't pull through. A little washer, I had a little washer there but it came loose. I could do something about that. Um, at any rate, and then I used a little bit of glue gun glue. Actually, I just used the glue and a lighter. I didn't even bother firing the gun up. Just to drip it around the hole to make it watertight. I store my bird seed in an uh, old key litter container. This one washed out, of course. That keeps the mice out of it. Makes it easy filling. And there I am. And this hangs from a wire outside. High enough where it's hard for a raccoon and squirrels to get to it. It's kind of big and rounded, so it's not really something they can grasp that easy either. Of course, there's nothing I can do about the bear if they come by. But if they do, I haven't really lost anything. I just got wire and uh, plastic scrap in here. Nothing that isn't just out of my recycle bin. And that's about it. Just be creative. I might make one out of this thing and these lids, but this is almost too big for what I need right now. But I've made them out of peanut jars and everything else.